first launch to the International Space Station in 2013 occurred on February 11, 2013, when Progress M18M launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. It launched at a very specific time to allow the Progress to fast track to the station, cutting the standard two day rendezvous orbit to hours. This fast-track rendezvous had been debuted with Progress M16M in August of 2012 and shown to be repeatable by Progress M17M in October 2012. The uh, first phase, uh, first stage, uh, lasts for about 1 minute 58 seconds. After reaching orbit, Progress M18M immediately began rendezvous procedures and docked with the Pierce module just six hours after launch. Well, we'll stand by for the official docking time. Uh, looks like it's about uh, 2.35, a little, after, little more than that, maybe 2.36. We'll stand by for the official word from visiting vehicle officer. On March 1, 2013, SpaceX launched the Dragon cargo vehicle atop a Falcon 9 rocket for the International Space Station. This flight was the first to use the unpressurized trunk section, consisting of two heat rejection subsystem grapple fixtures T-minus for the station's 10, radiators. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have liftoff of Falcon 9. Dragon Ascent's first stage acceleration. Falcon 9 is cleared the tower. Starting pitch. Shortly after the second stage separation, the Dragon experienced problems with its Draco thrusters. Three of the pods were not working, and Dragon was placed in passive abort mode and delayed the deployment of the solar panels. Eventually the issue was resolved and the thrusters were brought back online, but the problem delayed the birthing of Dragon by one day. So on March 3, 2013, Dragon was grappled by the Canadarm2 by Expedition 34 Commander Kevin Ford and NASA Flight Engineer Tom Marshburn and was birthed in an 80 or docking port of the Harmony module. On March 15, 2013, Soyuz TMA-06M carrying Novotsky, Tarelkin, and Ford undocked from the Poisk and landed safely in Kazakhstan the following day. On March 26, 2013, the Dragon was unberthed from the Harmony module by Canadarm2, moved away from the station, and released. The Expedition 35 crew then commanded the spacecraft to slowly depart from the station and SpaceX Dragon fired its engines, sending it through the Earth's atmosphere for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. A team of SpaceX engineers, technicians, and divers recovered the vehicle and its scientific cargo off the coast of Baja, California for the journey back to shore. On March 28, 2013, Soyuz TMA-08M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The launch occurred at a very specific time, allowing the testing of the new expedited rendezvous for a Soyuz. Lift off. Lift off as Chris Cassidy, Pavel Vinogradov, and Alexander Mazurkin are on a fast track to the International Space Station. Following achieving orbit, Soyuz TMA-08M immediately began rendezvous procedures, conducting two burns within the first orbit and eight more burns over the next five hours. After just four orbits, Soyuz TMA-08M docked to the Poisk module on March 29th and was welcomed by the Expedition 35 crew already aboard. On April 24, 2013, Progress M-19M launched atop a Soyuz U-carrier rocket from Site-15 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome.
Progress M19M did not use the new fast track rendezvous, so after the standard two day rendezvous orbit, it docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on April 26, 2013. After several weeks aboard together on May 13, 2013, Soyuz TMA-07M carrying Hatfield, Marshburn, and Romanenko undocked from the Rosviet module and after a flawless deorbit, landed safely in Kazakhstan. Two weeks later, on May 28, 2013, Soyuz TMA-09M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. Liftoff. Liftoff of Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yushikin, and Luca Pavertano on a six hour ride to the International Space Station. After just six hours, Soyuz TMA 09M docked with the Rosviet module without issue. Distance to target now 21, 29 meters. And the hatches between the Soyuz spacecraft and the International Space Station opening at 11.14 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston. Progress M19M undocked from the Svezda module of the ISS on June 11, 2013. The undocking paved the way for the European Space Agency's ATV-4 called Albert Einstein, which would subsequently dock with the ISS aft port of the Svezda. Soon after the undocking, Progress M19M entered an independent orbit to begin a one-week free flight that conducted the Radar Progress Experiment. On June 19th, Progress M19M performed a deorbit burn and plunged into the Pacific Ocean. On June 5th, 2013, the penultimate ATV, the Albert Einstein, was launched atop an Ariane 5 launch vehicle from Karoo, French Guiana. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage AP, décollage. After 10 days in orbit, the Albert Einstein docked with the aft port of the Svezda module, and while docked there, he would boost the ISS orbit several times. On July 25, 2013, Progress M18M undocked from the Pierce module and was deorbited the same day. Separation occurring while the International Space Station was flying just over the uh, far eastern portion of Kazakhstan, just above the uh, northern border of China. On July 27, 2013, Progress M20M launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15, the Baikonur Cosmodrome, on a fast track to the ISS. And liftoff. Liftoff of the ISS Progress 52 cargo craft on an expedited journey of four orbits to the International Space Station. Pitch and roll program is initiated. All parameters are looking good. Less than six hours after launch, Progress M20M docked with the Pierce module without incident. On August 3rd, 2013, the Japanese Kanatori 4 launched atop an H 2B launch vehicle from the Tanegashima Space Center bound for the ISS. And liftoff. Liftoff of the H TV on a journey to the International Space Station. We had a liftoff of the H2B launch vehicle number four with the corner. The uh, HTV 
After six days in orbit, HTV-4 approached the station where it was grappled and berthed to the nadir port of Harmony. At the completion of the 166-day mission, Soyuz TMA-08M undocked from the Poisk module on September 10th, 2013 and returned to Earth without issue. In addition to SpaceX, Orbital Sciences Corporation was also awarded a commercial resupply contract from NASA. To carry out its contract, Orbital contracted Northrop Grumman Space Systems to develop and build the Cygnus cargo spacecraft. The Cygnus spacecraft consists of two basic components, the pressurized cargo module, the PCM, and the service module, the SM. The standard version holds up to 1,500 kilograms of pressurized cargo, and the extended version adds 400 kilograms more. Cygnus is not designed to be reused, burns up on re-entry, disposing of the station's refuse. The Cygnus can launch on two different carrier rockets, ULA's Atlas V and Orbital's three-stage Antares rocket. The first Cygnus, named after the late NASA astronaut and Orbital Sciences Executive G. David Lowe, launched atop an Antares rocket from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport on Wallops Island in Virginia on September 18, 2013. And Antares is on its way, delivering uh, Cygnus to orbit. Cygnus was to dock after four days of flight, but a computer glitch postponed the rendezvous. After the glitch was fixed, Cygnus had to wait for Soyuz TMA-10M to launch and dock to the station before conducting its final approach. On September 25, 2013, Soyuz TMA-10M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the ISS. Mike Hopkins, Oleg Kotov, and Sergei Rozansky on a six-hour ride to the International Space Station. After less than six hours, Soyuz TMA-10M docked to the Poisk module. Four days later, on September 29, 2013, the Cygnus cargo vehicle approached the station. An Italian astronaut, Luca Parmitano, grappled it and berthed it to the Nadir port on Harmony. Cygnus remained docked until October 22, 2013, when it was unberthed and released from the Canadarm II before firing its engines and deorbiting over the Pacific Ocean. On October 28, 2013, the ATV Albert Einstein undocked and re-entered the Earth's atmosphere on November 2nd. On November 1st, 2013, the crew moved Soyuz TMA-09M from the Rosfiat module to the aft port on the Svezda to make room for Soyuz TMA-11M. A week later, on November 7, 2013, Soyuz TMA-11M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. And we had liftoff, liftoff of the Soyuz rocket and the TMA-11M spacecraft on a truly Olympic leap, delivering three more crew members to the International Space Station on a historic mission to continue the seamless transition of humans on their own relay to continue studying science in space. After less than six hours, Soyuz TMA-11M docked to the Rosfiat module. This was a rare moment when three Soyuz were docked to the station and nine crew members were aboard without a shuttle being attached to the station. But it would only last three days before on November 10th, 2013, Urchikin, Nyberg, and Parimiyatano climbed into Soyuz TMA-09M, undocked from the Svezda, and returned back to Earth. 
The last launch to the ISS in 2013 took place on November 25th when Progress M21M launched atop a Soyuz U-carry rocket from Site 316 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Not utilizing the fast track, it spent four days in orbit, after which Progress M21M docked with the aft port of this Vesta module. With 2013 ending with another expedition on board, the crew looked forward to another great year aboard the ISS. <laughs>